In response to Usher and Alicia Keys' sensual moment during their performance of their song My Boo during the Super Bowl, Swizz Beats has released a statement. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats have been dating for a while. All things considered, people look up to them as a power couple in the music business. You have a legendary producer on one side. Conversely, you have a phenomenal singer-songwriter who has produced a ton of hits throughout the years. They both became popular subjects on social media yesterday night. All of this, of course, was made possible by Usher's memorable Super Bowl halftime show. Keys was spotted playing the piano at one point during the concert while wearing an amazing red dress. Even though she ended up slightly botching her vocals at the start, the performance turned into something special. Usher was seen holding her from behind, thus some would argue that this was done for the wrong reasons. On social media, fans started creating memes right away. In addition, some felt sorry for Swizz Beats as he had to witness another man becoming intimate with his wife in public. Swizz witnessed all of these remarks, many of which were made out of insecurity. In the end, he thanked his wife for her performance in an Instagram post. Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium, Swizz wrote. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats at Usher and my love at Alishakis that song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side we make history. Go see Giants at at Brooklyn Museum it's open until July blessings. Clearly, Swizz Beats was a fan of the performance. Ultimately, he doesn't care for the social media antics. Usher loves Jennifer Goacochia, the woman in his life, but that hasn't prevented the yeah. Singer from letting his Playboy antics run the show during his residency in Las Vegas. While Kiki Palmer was watching in the audience, the R&B legend serenaded her sexily, much to the starlet's baby daddy's dismay. Fortunately, Kiki and Darius Jackson were able to work through their problems and keep parenting their baby son ladies together. However, Usher has continued to sing to other people's partners while performing, which has led to him being criticized by Charlemagne the God on a recent episode of The Breakfast Club. I'm gonna tell you how much of a terrorist uh, Usher is. The brilliant idiot's host told listeners. He went from my wife mm -hmm. to Doja Cat, mm -hmm. who was clearly there with a guy. Charlemagne explained. Seeing as the Scarlet artist has been dating Jay Cyrus on the low for some time now, our bet is that she attended the concert with him. He didn't care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Didn't Jessica Alba was. The radio host noted of Usher's nonchalance towards the men in the room. Sitting behind me, he went to Jessica Alba, started singing to her, she's married. He went and started singing to her, she's married. Where the Texas-born recording artist drew the line, it seems, was with Jennifer Lopez. Then he had the nerve to look at her and say, I don't want no smoke with Benefolk. Well what you want smoke with me for Usher. The god openly pondered. He think you soft, co-host DJ Envy suggested to his friend. At his Las Vegas residency, he just struck once more, this time choosing none other than Doja Cat. The singer of Paint the Town Red stood up from her seat to dance along. <laughs> appearing enthralled by the love ballad. Doja Cat, ladies and gentlemen. Doja was, of course, all grins as the crowd went wild over her moves. He announced. For all the artists that he's broken, as well as the amazing artists that he is. Ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for one, the only, Dr. Dre. Usher then made his way over to the hitmaker, giving him a big hug as the crowd cheered. He went on to play a variety of Dr. Dre classics as the lucky audience grooved along. The medley included tracks like Forgot About Tree, Nothing But a G Thing, Still DRE, and more. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.